little bookworms. Today I'm going to be doing my first anime wrap up. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. You guys all on my anime tag video said that you wanted to see me do some anime wrap ups. Um, so I decided that I'm going to be making wrap up videos for every five anime that I watch um, and anime seasons. If there's a show that has like more than one season available, I'll talk about the first season that I watched and then if I watch the second season that will be in another wrap up. I'm actually going to be starting with things that I've watched like toward the beginning of the year um, and then going through current uh, because why not? So here we go. Okay so the first anime that I have to talk about is Yuri on Ice which was so good. There's like so much hype that's surrounding Yuri on Ice so there's not much that you really need to say about it but it follows a young very passionate skater named Yuri and all he wants to do is be like Victor who is his idol um and then Victor actually so Victor is like a very skilled skater and he's been winning medals and stuff for years and then he announces that he wants to take a year off of skating and he wants to be a coach so he ends up becoming Yuri's coach and the two of them form this like beautiful relationship and it is so cute and the way that they like push each other um and oh my gosh it's just so good and then there's another Yuri that they call Yurio who's kind of like a little obnoxious kind of guy he's in the picture too and um Victor is training uh both of them and he gives them each different routines to do and I think really what makes this anime so beautiful is all of the skating. There are so many sequences where you just see them doing their routine and it's like enchanting. <laughs> it's so beautiful to like just watch them skate and to do all these like beautiful moves and it's also really cool because it's animated but it looks so real and all of the moves are like actual moves that are used in ice skating. Um, so there's a ton of like detail and research that went into creating this anime and creating this like beautiful beautiful skating story but yeah i absolutely love yuri on ice you can stream it on crunchyroll um it's also been announced that there's gonna be a yuri on ice film which cannot wait so yeah i would definitely rate this anime as 10 out of 10. Then the second anime that I'm going to be talking about is an older anime. Um, it's called Fooly Cooly and it's only, I want to say, five or six episodes. It's a very short anime and it is really out there. Um, it's one of those ones that's classic and it has such a strong cult following that I really wanted to see it because I had never seen it before and I felt like it was something that I should see. So it's kind of like, it's like a sci-fi anime and it's really hard to explain because it's just so all over the place. Um, but it follows this young boy and he lives in this like post-apocalyptic world and there's this girl that comes down who knows from where um, and there's just all this like strange stuff that's going on and again it's just bizarre it doesn't really make sense until you get toward the end of the series and even then you'll be left with a lot of questions um i might maybe i need to watch it a second time in order to get more out of it but it was like it was good and i was interested but i was also really confused um so i liked this one i think believe I watched this one on Hulu and I would give Fooly Cooly 7 out of 10 stars. I like that I just decided I'm gonna do 10 instead of, you know what it is? Okay, so you might be like, why are you doing 10 stars instead of 5 stars? I use my anime list. I'm not sure if you have heard of that, but it's essentially like Goodreads, but for anime. Um, I think there's a social aspect to it, but I don't have any friends on it. So I just use it to keep track of the anime that I have watched, the anime that I plan on watching, um, and anime that I have maybe started but decided to stop or put on hold or what what have you. Um, lets you keep track of how many episodes you watched so that's just like a fun thing that I use and the way that you rate it is out of 10 stars so that's where I'm getting this scale from. The third one that I want to talk about is probably one of my favorite animes of the year for sure. Um, it's called Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I sh had showed the manga in a previous book haul um, but the anime was on it was simulcast this past winter and Andrew and I watched it every week like we would be like oh my god is it Friday yet we need more Miss Kobayashi <laughs> like it was so good so essentially what happens is Miss Kobayashi is um she's just like a kind of jaded 
woman that's living in Japan on her own in this apartment. She's kind of lonely. She definitely loves to drink. So she went out drinking one night and happened to run into a dragon and she helped this dragon and she was so drunk though. And she told the dragon like, oh, you can live with me. And then she wakes up the next morning with a huge hangover. She has no recollection of that at all. And then all of a sudden there's this dragon that's at her door that comes to live with her. So the dragon comes and she shapeshifts into a maid. So she's the dragon maid. Her name is Toru and she is so cute and she just like loves Miss Kobayashi so much and she's so thankful for her help. But her race, like dragons, have been raised to hate humans. So she's so fascinated by Miss Kobayashi and she's so like in awe of her and it is adorable. And then as the season goes on, you get to meet more dragons. There's a really fun episode where they go to like a comic convention. Fafnir is my favorite dragon ever. He like, I want him to be my best friend and I want to be Kana because she's the most adorable, adorable character on the show. Like pretty much all anime has some kind of weird aspect to it, but I've had some friends say that they thought it was a little bit too strange for them. But if you feel like that after the first episode, I would strongly urge you to keep watching because it is so heartwarming. It is so good. Like definitely one of my favorites of the year. I, everything about it, it's just like a slice of life with dragons and it's so, it's just so good. Um, definitely Miss Kobayashi gets 10 out of 10 from me. The next anime that I'm going to talk about is Free. Um, so I watched season one of Free. Free follows a bunch of boys who are in a swimming club at their school. I have to say, I didn't love it. A lot of people seem to really love Free. Like there was like a huge obsession with it. And after having watched Haikyuu, I really loved Haikyuu and I felt like the characters on Haikyuu were so well done and I think that's what's what was missing from Free. Like Free had all of those like gratuitous shots of the boys in their bathing suits when they're going swimming and stuff but I felt like the character development was just severely lacking so while I enjoyed watching the season I didn't ever feel like a strong connection to the characters. I don't think that I'm planning on continuing with season two of it, nor am I going to watch the movie. Um, I'm glad that I saw it so I could see like what the hype was about, but it is not an anime that I really enjoyed. Um, so I ended up giving free five out of 10 stars. I felt kind of ambivalent about it. And then the next anime that I want to talk about is one that I finished last night. Um, it was called Snow White with the Red Hair and I watched the first season of it with Andrew and we both really enjoyed it. This is definitely another new favorite for me. The first episode is very heavily based on the Snow White fairy tale. So it follows a young girl named Shiryuki who has red hair, which is obviously extremely unusual in Japan. Um, so Shiryuki is just minding her own business. She's making medicine and stuff. She's an herbalist in her country when the prince of her country decides that he wants to take her on as his concubine, but Shiryuki is like, forget that. That is not my path. She often talks about choosing her path, which you will see if you watch this. Um, so she runs away, she flees her country, and she ends up um, meeting the prince, the second prince rather, of the bordering country and the two of them form this friendship and it is so beautiful and so cute and I really really loved it. The whole anime is very much um, fairy tale esque and all of the artwork has like a fantastical flair to it. So that is also partially why I loved it so much. I thought the colors were really beautiful too. The way that Shiryuki's hair would pop against like the beautiful blue skies or just the greenery in um, the herbalist workshop that she would be in was just so like so appealing. I just loved it. I thought it was a really really nice story. I loved what a strong heroine uh, Shiryuki was and I like that she didn't just accept the hand that fate dealt her. She was constantly doing things for herself. Um, so she was really inspiring and I love love Prince Zen. He is just like the sweetest, most sensitive little princeling um, and them together is so cute. So this was really enjoyable. There was never any, there were never any moments in it that felt too like high stakes. Um, it was more of like 
a slice of life type of fantasy. And there were fun little stories in each episode, but it wasn't like a high stakes, like epic battle thing happening. And I really enjoyed it. And I gave Snow White with the Red Hair eight out of 10 stars. So those are the first five anime that I'm going to be talking about in these wrap ups. There's going to be another one coming soon because I've already watched more than 10 animes this year. And yeah, let me know any animes that you're watching, any recommendations that you might have for me to check out, and then I can talk about them here. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.